If you're taking a GLP-1 medication like Ozempic or Manjaro and you're feeling nauseous, you are not alone. This is the number one comment I see around side effects for these medications. So today I'm gonna to respond to Sweet, Sexy, and Mary with two types of responses and things that you can try. The first one are from the manufacturers of the medications themselves. And the second one is from everyday GLP-1 users like you and me on different tips and tactics that they've tried that they swear by. Don't worry, they're not harmful. So the first one, Nova Nordis and Eli Lilly on their website share these tips for nausea. Number one, choose bland foods on these days. These could be crackers, oatmeal, bread, they're gonna help settle your stomach. Number two, avoid greasy, fried, or sugary foods. These are gonna have the opposite effect and kind of worsen that nausea. Number three, drink plenty of water. That's whether you're feeling nauseous or not, that's so important for us. And the next one is uh, don't lay down after your meals. Absolutely not, it's gonna make that worse. And number five, after your meals, go out and take a walk and get some fresh air. So these all make perfect sense. I hope some of them have worked for you. Let us know in the comments. Now moving on to the second category of tactics. These are really interesting. I have not tried them myself. So if you do and they seem to work for you or you have any other advice around them, please do come back and let us know in the comments. So number one, apple cider vinegar gummies. You can go onto Amazon, they're about 10 to $20 per bottle for a count of about 60, so they're not terribly expensive. And the second thing, so interesting to me, is alcohol pads. You probably have these lying around for your GLP-1 injections. So the next time you feel nauseous, tear one open and take a little sniff. It's supposed to settle your stomach. Um, I find that super interesting and I can't wait to hear if that's gonna work for any of you all. And for any other questions or curiosities around GLP-1s, let me know in the comments.